Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to be uh, doing a post commentary of this run. Um, I figured since um, I'm kind of done with this and I want to just kind of just do a post commentary on this. So this is a run I've been waiting for for a long time since I started, but I'm debating starting to getting the sub 20, yada, 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 whatever. This is my PB and I'm going to be doing a commentary on it right now. So one two three go all right so we start out this is four swords that's a kiki fused adventure the sequel so this is a a uh, a uh, game for was originally for the game boy advance that came in link to the past as a bonus game and not many people know about it so i actually get this chest thinking i'm doing something else and um i was thinking of doing some other thing that i was doing before so um this is a perfect map um overall that would have been an eight if i didn't grab the chest all right so now this map um there's quite a few changes from my last post commentary where i do so i luckily got a uh, power up here that's really good because um this boss i'm gonna be fighting in this area has um a chance of uh, not giving you the link you are pulling currently so I do that just to uh, get out of the feather real fast, and I just try to hit this guy. And then whistle back. The reason why I go on the train track is by foot, because it's faster than getting off the train, off the minecart, the first minecart. So now I hit this and actually get a, uh, a power-up out of it, which I'm really lucky for. And I, I, I was gonna... So the reason why I um, go right there, because I assume I wasn't getting the key, so I want to just be prepared. So now this is a really incredible start. I got a, a power... A, a, a red power up and a green one. So now I'll be talking about the RNG that's involved in this game for the time I really want. And um, honestly, it's not really worth it to go for a 16 minute time. So I missed a couple of times. So I luckily get the good RNG pattern. And um, no, I don't actually. I don't get lucky. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, blessed with that. But I luckily I was able to hit him. So. That's good. But I didn't remember to hit him one twice. So now this, now there's a chance, I'm only talking about this is a chance where you can get the wrong one and then you can't one cycle them. But since I have the red um, power up, that's not an issue. So now I can one cycle them very easily. And um, there is a one cycle you can do with Vadi with one red. It's really hard, but I'll get into that a little later when I get there. I kind of fail it because I um, kind of get close enough and start hitting him and getting those extra two hits in. And this key this game is mashing. So you get a 227 which is very good. Above It's a little, a little more than above average. It's very good. Which is my rating for, that's a 4 out of 5. This That's a 4 out of 5 time right there. So now my theoretical time for this game would be, like if I wanted to grind this out, like people grind any percent for OOT, this would be about a uh, 1640 or something. So that means I would have to get a 150 on um, Sea of Trees, or get good, I have to get a perfect fight on Sea of Trees, Death Mountain, and Vadi. I have to get good enough in Tullus Cave. This Tullus Cave is uh, usually um, an annoying fight, but it's really just a set pattern each time if you play your cards right. So now it'll be um, we're gonna be going to Tullus, um, and this is where I make a little bit of bad decisions. Not here though, but the other place I start making bad decisions. So this is a a dungeon where normally you're they intend you to use your shield, but they give you rocks cape and they also give you one here so they're intending you to throw them in the holes so they're trying to show you without actually giving you instructions is that you can actually make things fall in holes and it opens the door that's what they were trying to show you um and this map is really good because it's short and sweet so i take the time to swim over here in advance so Key openings and door openings 
a sound plays before opening. You know how like in red and blue, there's like that red bar thing and you can skip certain, make anima certain animations go really fast? It's kind of like this, sort of in this game, except you kind of can skip like um, key openings. I think, I, th I think that's how it works. So I get the first charge here, which is incredible. So you see that the s you see how the sound kind of like played really fast there because I whistled. It's probably harder to do with that door, but there's a it opened a little faster, much faster. So I have Rock's Cape, and this map is really good with Rock's Cape because it's not one of the best telescape maps. But I could have technically skipped lifting that boulder up, but I don't want to take that chance. I make a mistake here and didn't take red with me, but I figured, I figured, you know what, it wasn't going to be the magnet one, but it turned out to be. So just a mental note for uh, those running this, see that little thing there that you just saw? Depending on that's laid out is what you're going to get. I always forget that every time I go through these mazes, because the mazes just amaze me. Get it? Haha, -ha, made a pun. Made it funny. So I get the thing, because why not? Because there also is a chance that a key could spawn in one of those things. It's very rare. But depending on the puzzle, you can get a key to spawn there. So since I don't have the rocks further, unfortunately I gotta waste time to get the magnet glove. So, the magnet glove. So that wastes a little bit of time. And here, I make poor decisions and miss the uh, two cycle. You know, I, I fall in the hole. I'm being dumb. And I missed, I missed that cycle twice, which cost me like... 10 seconds, 15 seconds. That probably is what cost me a lot of time there. This is probably the thing I can work on. So I get two power-ups, two speed, which is perfect. So I can do this setup where um, I can kill him quickly. But unfortunately, I, I play poorly. I think in this, I think while I'm chasing him. Because the one time I, I was able to hit him and get zapped, but I couldn't do it this time. Because I think when you zap this dude, uh, when you zap the the slug, when he's in his uh, Simon Says form, I call it Simon Says, so that's what it is. Simon Hit, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, this fight is absolutely the most annoying thing ever. So, I'm going to tell you why. This fight is ridiculous. Um, so... The second form, for those that don't know, has um, a color game, and whatever color you're on, you get to hit it. So whatever color you're playing, you have to hit these guys. So I tried it personally to get hit here, but I didn't wasn't able to because I guess the hitbox for getting lightning doesn't show up. So now I have to do this dumb little cheeky strat. So I have like full power on my sword. See the sparkles? So I get zapped there, super save, I do it again, and I just kill him. I probably could have just killed him. But now I know I could just kill him right that. So that's a 57, which is pretty solid. Could have gone a little better if I would have uh, not messed it up. Could have gotten a 47. Um, so now here comes the tricky part. I'm, uh, an annoying part about this is Death Mountain is a clusterfuck. There's so many bad maps, and uh, it's really annoying to get a good one. And uh, getting a good one is uh, really tough, especially since one has a puzzle you can skip. And uh, um, for those that don't know anything about the release of the four swords for the DSI, there are more things you can do. So there are doors for Vadi in both games. There are hero, and uh, there are um, gold keys that you can get. We have to beat Vadi once to get that, to unlock that chance of getting that room. But in the DSI, there are two other dungeons, other trials you can do. Which is exclusively for the DSI, and you can't get it anywhere else. I'm hoping that uh, Nintendo does uh, re-release re this game and make it for the virtual console. For the DSI, because that would be really incredible, because that would, uh... So, I was doing something here. I wasn't sure what I was exactly doing, but I think I like had a window open I was opening it. So there's a strat here that I wanted to do, but I messed my window up to do it. So you see that when you can pick that guy up, you save two seconds. So really, um, I don't know how much in game time went by when I did it. But I guess 
I messed that up. That's that's one of my mistakes. That cost you like eight seconds right there. So this could have been a sub twenty, but I was being careless and so this is a this is a bit of an interesting one. Um, I make the mistake of going to the right. I was trying to find if you can push that. You know, I was trying to see if you can push that, and um, that's another few couple seconds wasted there because I wanted to find something out. So really, this turn could have been sub 19, but then again, um, being on the overworld, so I make the mistake of going right. I always do this. This is something. Like, this is something. If you're playing this, don't do this. If you if you see this map and you see the flag over there, don't do that. That's really poor decision making. Because now I have to go all the way around. But I did it because I know the key's on the right hand side. So even if I um. I usually get the right hand side key. I don't really get it too often on the left. So I usually go for the right. I do this just for swag, I guess. I do this stupid turn thing. I don't know why. I should have just went the other way. Instead of wasting a frame turning. So now this map is uh, one of my worst maps. Because it took me a little time to pick up the boulder. And um, I didn't really know happy with the way this turned out. But at least the guy didn't... Because there's a chance where this guy can pop out again. This guy pops out multiple times. And uh, he's really annoying there. And sometimes he can hop all the way over here and burn you. And annoy you. And troll you. So I make a mistake here. It's a really big one. Which cost me like 4 seconds. It's just those little mistakes that cost a lot of time. And uh, so I got the one of the better exits so what I do here I would accept this puzzle at this point and I just bring my link over here and I want to do a little trick there with key blocks you can skip the animation and kind of speed up overriding it with the whistle and uh, that's kind of why I guess that's how that works so I make a, I make a fourth row and I miss so I have to throw it again which is another three seconds So this death mount would have been like a uh, so I got a bomb there. So that's that's one of the better things I could have gotten if it was a fail. Now I get the key. That's good. So so, so as you see the um, when you open when you get a chest and you whistle and you're right in the door, you can actually skip the key and you can skip skip the sound effect, which speed up the speeds up the key opening, so it instantly opens. So this boss, the flames just gone everywhere, and this is a really bad because um, then you have to walk in before it. You waste a lot of time. So I wasted 30 seconds on this, which sucks. So I have to. There's a I don't know the I don't exactly remember the way to figure out where the boss goes, but the boss I think has like a shadow. I think I'm gonna look at this now. They all have shadows, so it's like. I don't want a mistake. That was close. I, I almost nailed it, but I'm gonna end up losing. I'm like the like nine seconds ahead, eight seconds ahead or something. Yeah, eight point seven. So I'm still ahead, um, but that doesn't mean anything because Vadi can be um, kind of a, kind of Vadi's dungeon kind of be a dick to get past, and uh, Vadi's dungeon isn't exactly the uh, most friendly in the speed running world it's not really friendly to do it's really horrible and uh doing this dungeon is absolutely the most ridiculous thing ever i would know i've played it for i've done this for like a long time i've been trying to put effort in this game and it really takes a lot out when you're just trying to put the effort into the game and um i was talking about how emulator is a useful tool and um they should allow it because it's only for the dsi and the dsi where is and they said so much effort, but really no one wants to hack their game to, to literally pirate a free game. To pirate a free game. I have this game, I own the English copy. I only have done this because I have I wanted the Japanese version and it's a free game, so really I'm not really stealing anything because I'm not getting money for it. Because they're not getting money for this game, it was a free game. Anyway. Never mind that. Never mind all those stupid things I was saying. 
Anyway, so I'm gonna unlock the body door. So there's three doors. There is so let me talk about this. There is silver, gold, and hero. Um and the hero keys are like kind of this orange color. I think I don't from this like like I got one of them once. I don't remember what it looks like. So anyway, the the hero keys this is one of the okay maps because of the way the dungeon's laid out. So I accept this one because of where the key location is. That's an important factor when I'm doing these runs. Is I want to make sure I'm getting a good key location. So I do the strategy too. Uh, this is a little bit of a poor execution of this. Like I, what I was trying to do was hit the because uh, you can hit two eyeballs at the same time. I just failed to do it. And I lose a little bit of time because I failed to do that. So, so now I have to do this. I'm gonna walk, start walking back, get a little bit of advancement using the other link, and now I'm gonna go small, and that's gonna be the level. Um, the second level was absolutely a ridiculous level. I just, I thought it was a different map. So, for those that I'm talking about, this see the bottom left screen. It tells you where the goal is. It tells you where the goal is in the game. It tells you. I think the Game Boy Advance you can pop it open and you can kind of see it, but the DS version you have this a bottom screen, so you don't have to like press a button to see it. So now I'm gonna open. So I'm gonna fly, you know, because the reason I put the DSI screen on there because it shows the map. In the Game Boy Advance, you have to press a button. I think it's like the same in Mystery Dungeon, Red. It's just a really good map, but I didn't think where the key was. I thought it was like. I was thinking it was a different puzzle because there's a puzzle exactly like this, but I messed up. I messed up thinking. So I go up here thinking it was the sp key that spawns up here, but I wasn't thinking because I, because there's many. Because then I saw this, I'm like, oh, this isn't the one I'm thinking of. So now I wasted time. I wasted like five or ten seconds trying to go all the way around. So now I wait. So I literally waste. So I went all the way around, which um, wasted like 10 or 15 seconds, I think. That's another time loss that I got because I did. I was using poor. I was. I didn't. Rem I was using poor memory to find out what the maps were. So I. Had, so I have a list of maps in my brain that I know exactly what they are. These things are just troll. Like I hate these. Like I'm even lucky. I, I'm even surprised I got this time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit these in the hole because like, I'm not going to let them throw that. It's a waste of time. So I just hit it. I mean, I probably could have done the throw thing, but like, ugh, no. So I get a 124, which is pretty good for considering I messed all that up. So now, Vadi. Remember what I was talking about earlier in the run when um, you have a power-up and you can one-cycle Vadi? It's actually very hard, but you can one cycle them without it, but it's more consistent to get a red power-up to do it. But you can do it with one red power-up. You have to be fast, and you have to be at a certain angle when he falls down. No joke. It's really hard to hit him. Because he takes, I think he takes a lot of 15 hits or something like that. I'm going to count. I don't really, I don't know if I can count that high. But, um... There is a hit. There's, there's like the, he has this like hit thing where he hits and he moves very slightly, all, a little slightly to to the opposite direction. To the to the, you swing, you get you get this little knockback from when you're swinging your sword. And what's bad about that knockback? Most bosses that I fought didn't have any knockback, and bodies on a few that do have a little bit of knockback on the first phase. So I got an ideal situation where I fight body. This is one of the ideal second phases. So I want to explain why the second phase is so good. So I was panicking here in the second phase, but I'm just gonna not worry about this because Yeah, so it's about not 10 hits you gotta hit him Or 11 whatever the bomb things don't actually damage him. It just shows that because you Get him out of that thing. He's so that's, a, that's a two hits. So that's it. That's good So now there's the next um Oh, yeah, if you get there fast enough that those things, those warps fast enough, you can skip, you can make it go slightly faster, and you'll skip the sound effect from playing. With the you'll skip that whole thing. You'll just get, you'll just get like it play a little faster. That doesn't really happen in many occurrences, but it does happen in this fight. 
So now this fight, the ideal phase is you want either four of those, four of hitbacks, of uh, volley volleyball, three phases of volleyball, and you want the um, other one to be the spinning dice. So a little something to tell you about this thing. Um, I was I was really shocked when I got this because Vade can be random as hell. And I got really good uh, phases too, like really good phase too. Like I didn't get, I don't think I got any lightning bolts. For whatever call, I didn't get any lightning RNG. I don't think I did. Yeah, I didn't get any lightning bolt RNG. What the hell? That's insane. So now he's gonna do the. Um, so he's gonna move his, his. So when you know what he's gonna do when he moves a certain way. So now I'm like, okay, I'm worried. I was worried for a second that this is gonna be the other one. So now I actually hit the. So I actually accidentally hit his um, um his uh, lightning bolt here by mistake. So I actually hit him there, and uh, there's a certain frame where you can hit all those back at him. So, so I actually hit his lightning bolt. So, but I didn't know. So, so what I didn't know there is like if you hit it, you have a, a frame window to hit him again. Before he spits them back out, so they're not invincible. So you can actually hit them, and you can kill them. So I learned something new. So just because you hit that thing doesn't mean you can't hurt him with his things. You can hit him back before he spits him out, which is really hard to do. This is a frame where you can do it. Really incredible run. Um, I want to give a few shout outs to the Legi Grand, Tampa, um, Buffon. Dr. Green Pants, Corgi Hero, Blazing Phoenix. Hoping these dudes come back. I want this game to be slightly more active again. You know, the four people that do run it. And um, I want to give a few shout outs to um, the kind people that are in this community. And I have two ideas of what I want to do after I do 100% of this game for the DSi. And uh, if I can get a partner, um, I would run. Um, I would run the. Uh, I'd run the. Uh, I'd run the. I do a uh, hero body runs with somebody if I knew somebody that would do it. But um, the issue is, uh, you know, uh, I really don't have a person to play with, and you know, and. And, and you know, I live kind of like on the middle of on a highway in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I live like near. I live like kind of like in the middle of like you know where there's not many heap many like people that would um. You know, be there. You know, be around to run this game, and not many people would run this. Um, this is a really incredible run. I'm really happy with this time. Um, I just thought I wanted to do a commentary of it. And give those shout outs. Um, I want to thank everyone who uh, was around in my streams and supporting this game because uh, and here are my two likely things after I go out and do 100% and get a good time in it. My um, my uh, my initial thought for routing 100% um, for this is I'm not done. I have still have to route out the mobs and stuff for Hero's thing. Then I got the gold keys routed out and everything. I got them like all planned out. So I'm gonna be doing local recordings of these routes and um, probably streaming them. Again, so I have a route I can reference. So I'm gonna be, um, you know, uh, recording these. So for some reason I uh, messed it up and uh, split did the wrong splits there. Really happy with that time. This is a really good time. Um, I feel like uh, I'm gonna do 100% now because you know I really don't feel like uh, routing this out. So we're doing this anymore because any percent. I mean I can beat my times. I could beat this, but I don't think anyone's gonna challenge me anytime soon. I may be wrong, but um, I mean, I beat the GBA times, which is what my original intended goal was for this. My original goal for this was to beat 
the admins times, and that's exactly what I did. They use the co-op Game Boy Advance though, because that's the only way you can run Game Boy Advance. You really don't have any friends to play with. So yeah, um, thanks for uh, all of you for watching. Thank you all for being here. It's been an honor and an awesome, and you guys have an awesome day. Oh, and one more thing. I'm not done routing 100% yet. Um, it's going to be a really difficult road. It's going to be a pain. I'm probably going to be salty during the run. Because I still got to route hero keys out. Because hero keys can go... Uh, it depends on how bad they are. I'm going to be looking at all the maps for the hero keys. I'm not going to use emulator to route it because it's almost... It, it's probably pointless because... Um, you know, all that stuff... I mean, if you can't properly save state and reopen the emulator and open a save state, it's not even worth routing. Anyway, I'm going to be seeing you all later. Thanks for watching. Um, and uh, I'm not going to worry about these credits. Bye.